as we have seen under this Akufuado government. Friends from the media, after our meticulous investigations into appointments made by President Akufuado since the year 2017, we submit that the Akufuado government is the most nepotistic government in the 62 year history of Ghana, and we dare say the world. Even Idi Amin Dada, the butcher of Uganda, Jem Bedel Bukasa, and Mobutu Seseseku, the looter of Zael, now Democratic Republic of Congo, will envy President Ekufuado's unprecedented brand of nepotism and clanism. Now, at this stage, we'll look at candidate Ekufuado's false allegation against President Mahama relative to the subject of nepotism and his fake promise in the year 2016. Members of the press, it is important at this stage to give a brief historical context to this whole discussion about nepotism. You may recall that at an MPP delegates conference in Kumase on Saturday, 17th January 2016, then flag bearer of the new patriotic party, Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado, made a solemn promise to the people of Ghana, quotes, I will not operate a family and friends government, unquote. At that meeting, the MPP leader chided then President John Mahama for running what he called a family and friends government and promised that should he win power, he will not oppress him. And this point is very important, so let me stress on it. At that meeting, that is the 17th January 2016 Delegates Conference of the MPP in Kumase, then candidate Kufuado promised that if elected, he was not going to operate a family and friends government. Now it is instructive to note that at the time the current president was accusing the former president, that is President Mahama, of running a family and friends government, the NDC government at the time had only one appointee. We had only one appointee by the name Honorable Joyce Bawa Mokhtari, former Deputy Minister of Transport, who had any form of familiar relation with former President Mahama. Despite this notorious fact, which was known to then candidate Kufuado, so loud where the accusations of nepotism against the ex wal Mahama administration, that Professor Stephen Adair, I'm sure you would recall, Professor Stephen Adair, who is a friend of President Ekufuado, the former rector of Gimpa, now chairman of the National Development Planning Commission and chairman of the Ghana Revenue Authority Board, stated that President Mahama was running a government full of what he described as nodness. Now, distinguished friends from the media, as fate will have it, the man who accused former President Mahama of nepotism now occupies the highest office of the land and has a chance to keep his own vow made to Ghanaians in 2016. And what do we see? His promise not to operate a family and a friend's government now lies in tatters, trampled upon with indescribable contempt. Now, to how President Ekufuado has institutionalized nepotism and made nepotism a deliberate policy. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, indeed, 
Contrary to his campaign promise, President Ekufuado has normalized the culture of nepotism in his government. He has given true meaning to nepotism by surrounding himself with a plethora of family members, friends, loved ones, including his former lovers, all in furtherance of his state capture agenda. President Ekufuado has equated his powers conferred on him by the 1992 Constitution to hire and fire to mean excessively and capriciously dispensing generosity to family, friends, kinsmen, and loved ones. With flippant abuse of his powers and privileges as president of Ghana, he has appointed such people into various juicy positions in his government in a way never seen in the history of Ghana. Similarly, the Vice President, Dr. Mahamud Baumia, and other key government functionaries have also joined the President in this race to the bottom. Taking a cue from their boss, they have joined the nepotistic practice of abusing the power to appoint various people into positions to satisfy their families and friends. Ladies and gentlemen, our checks have revealed that there are at least, at least over 50 persons in the Akufuado government whose appointments can be related to their families, friends, business, or close connections to Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado, Dr. Baumia, his vice, their ministers, and other appointees. This unprecedented but unenviable practice, we contend, injures good govern governance and breeds corruption. So, ladies and gentlemen, at this stage, because this is a moment of true series, having given you an introduction to this subject of nepotism and how it is plaguing our country currently, we will present you with a few examples which demonstrate the classic and unprecedented nepotism that President Ekufuado is presiding over. And so, because of the nature of this subject and how many these family and friends appointees are, the presentation is likely to be lengthy. We appeal to you to bear with us. And to make it simple for you and for all those who are watching, and to convince everybody watching, listening to this press conference that we are only talking about facts and not our own creation, we will present you with the pictures of the names we are going to call. Their designations, the positions they hold in government, and their relationship with President Ekufuado, his vice or his ministers. So that if Yabuabia Samwa and the MPP are listening to us and they want to respond like we know they will do, they will not resort to insults and mass slinging, but they will deal with the specific issues that we'll be raising this afternoon. And so to start with. I'll begin with a very interesting you know, uh, case. It has to do with one nuclear family who belong to the extended family of President Ekufuado and who have found their way into the Ekufuado government. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, among Ekufuado's uncountable relatives in government is Nana Asante Bediatu. And if we can have his picture on the screen. Nana Asante Bediatu, you can see his picture on the screen. Who is a cousin of President Ekufuado from Chibi and serves as his executive secretary. But ladies and gentlemen, Bediatu is not alone. 
He is joined in government by his father, his biological father, called Kofi Dakon Asante. You can see his picture on the screen. That is Nana Santi Bediatu's father, who has been appointed by President Kufuado as chairman of the governing council of Gimpa. He is also joined by his biological mother, Mrs. Vida Asante. You can see her picture on the screen. Who is the head of the presidential household? So his mother is also a presidential staffer, described as head of the presidential household. His father is the chairman of the Gimpa Council. But that is not all. His brother, his blood brother, Kwesi Kuntu Asante, has also been appointed as a board member of Ghana Hostels. And you can see him in a photograph with Nana Santi Bedia too on the screen. That is his blood brother, board member, Ghana Hostels. But not just that, ladies and gentlemen. In addition to this, his blood sister, called Loretta Asante, with the marital name Autry, so she's now called Loretta Autry, has also been appointed as one of the three deputy director general at Senate. So she also, you can see that they look very, they, they look uh, very much alike. She's also, you know, um, a deputy director general at Senate. So one nuclear family, ladies and gentlemen. The father, Mr. Kofi Dakwa Sante, has been appointed as the chairman of the Gimpa Council. His mother, Vida Asante, head of presidential household, whatever that means. His blood brother, Kwesi Kuntu Asante, member of the Ghana Hostels Board. His blood sister, Loretta Asante, now Loretta Autry. Deputy Director General Snet and himself, Santi Bediotu, Executive Secretary to the President. Ladies and gentlemen, other relatives of President Ekufuado, who currently occupy positions in his government, include the famous ones, Ken Uforiata. Can we see his picture? Ken Uforiata is on the screen. The Minister of Finance. Samuel Atachia, the Minister of Works and Housing, and Kwesi Amwakwata, the Minister for Roads and Highways, all of whom are his cousins. So Atachia is a cousin, Kwesi Amwakwata is a cousin, and the Almighty Kenufuriata, cousin of President Ekufuado, giving various juicy positions. Kenufuriata is finance minister. Another cousin of his, Kwasi Amwakwata, Minister for Roads and Highways. Another cousin of his, Samuel Atacha, Minister for Works and Housing. Now, friends from the media, in an unprecedented move, President Ekufuado has made his own daughter, his own daughter, Jankroma Ekufuado, a member of the Creative Arts Council. And you can see. Jankroma Ekufuado on the screen, daughter of President Ekufuado, has also been given an appointment as a member of the Creative Arts Council. So it's not only an affair of cousins, but it is also an affair of daughters. And as we move on, you are going to see more. Ladies and gentlemen, a major striking feature of Ekufuado's nepotistic governance style is the ever-present quartet made up of two appointees and two non-appointees. That quartet is what is known in government circles as the ruling quartet. They are made up of four people, the most powerful people in Ghana today. Made up of two appointees, Ken Oforiata, Minister of Finance, Duke Oforiata, his younger brother, who is also a presidential staffer in the office of the chief of staff, and then President Kufuado's direct younger brother called Edward Ekufuado, a.k.a. Bomti, and their nephew, Gabi Asario Chedakon, the de facto prime minister of Ghana, known in government circles as God, 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 in quotes. 
You can see them on the screen. This is the ever-present quartet who are controlling the affairs of this country and being presided by President Ekufuado. Now, it must be noted that even though Bomti and Gabi do not hold formal positions in government, the two are the president's closest advisors. Gabi, in particular, is considered as the most powerful man in the Akufuado's administration, second only to the president. And Bomti, on the other hand, as revealed by our investigations, is the president's main man, underline that, main man in Ghana's energy sector with numerous interests. And we are going to explain that. Now, furthermore, the wife of Ghana's de facto prime minister, Gabi Asario Chedako, President Ekufuado's nephew, and for that matter, the in-law of the president, Nana Ajoa Hackman, is not left out of the sharing of the spoils as she has been appointed to the board of the GMPC, a key institution which pivots Ghana's petroleum sector. So here you are seeing the influence of Gabi, his own wife has been appointed as a member of the GMPC board. Also, the husband of Gabi's wife, called Mr. Echo Hackman, no, the brother, sorry, the brother of Gabi's wife, called Mr. Echo Hackman, and for that matter, President Ekufuado's son-in-law has been appointed as the board chairman of BOST. So Gabi's wife is on the GMPC board. And the brother of his wife is now the board chairman of BOST, all key institutions in Ghana's energy and petroleum sector. Now to add to the litany of familial relations of the president in government and the unholy firm grip that the Akufuado family has on the energy sector of Ghana, another cousin of the president, Rodalen Bafojima has been made a member of the board of Ghana Oil Company, Goya. So this is another cousin of President Ekufuado, Mrs. Rodalen Bafojima, who has been appointed by President Ekufuado as a member of the Goya board. But ladies and gentlemen, in addition, the husband of Rodalen Bafojima <laughs> who is the cousin of President Ekufuado, the husband, called Mr. Alex Bafojima, has also been rewarded for his relations with the president by being appointed to be the chair of the board of the Gaming Commission. So that's Rudal and Bafojima's husband. He has also been appointed as board chairman of Gaming Commission. And I hope the cameras here will capture that for the benefit of those watching. Also, another cousin of President Ekufwa, a very famous one, Nana Fredua Ufuriata, has been appointed by the president as the board chairman of National Theater. So, a known uh, communicator of the New Patriotic Party, cousin of President Ekufwa, he has also gotten his fair share, chairman of the National Theater Board. Now, the names we have mentioned so far are relatives of the president from his mother's side, the maternal relatives of the president. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, in furtherance of his legendary practice of nepotism and clanism, Nana has not left out his paternal side from his distribution of state positions. Dr. Edward Quapon, the chief executive officer of the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission. And the current Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Ms. Gloria Akufu, are all paternal relatives of President Akufuado from his father's hometown, Akupon. So these are paternal relatives, Edward Kwapon, Chief Executive of Fair Wages and Salaries Commission, Ms. Gloria Akufu, Attorney General and Minister of Justice. But quite apart from the above, enumerated, President Ekufuado has also a long catalog of relatives and friends deeply embedded at the presidency. 
So here we are zooming in uh, to the presidency, on the presidency, sorry. This was revealed after our careful perusal of the list of presidential staffers presented to parliament early last year by the president. Among them, you remember the 998 presidential staffers. Now on that list is President Ekufuado's nephew called Michael Oforiata. Hard guy to find, so we couldn't get his picture. But he's there, nephew of President Ekufuado, who operates under the title Director of ECOWAS. It is very puzzling to us, ladies and gentlemen, what this role entails, Director of ECOWAS, given the fact that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration has able hands to handle the affairs of the sub-regional body on behalf of the government of Ghana. Still on the unprecedented list of presidential staffers, which has sent many tongues wagging, is another nephew of the president, William Oforiata, who bears the title of an office assistant. He's a presidential staffer with the title office assistant. While yet another relative of the president, Alice Ufuriata has also been drafted in as a protocol officer at the presidency. So, presidential Alice Ufuriata, you can see a picture, presidential staffer in charge of protocol. And then you have William Ufuriata, office assistant. And then you have Michael Ufuriata, director of ECOWAS. When the Ministry of Foreign Affairs already have a plethora of you know, workers, professionals, who can handle such affairs. Now, in a move to further entrench nepotism, contrary to his euphonious rhetoric while in opposition, a relative of the First Lady, Mrs. Rebecca Ekufuado, who goes by the name Gabriela Erufua Rindolph, has also found space on the gargantuan list of presidential staffers as deputy director of hospitality. <laughs> Furthermore, two people, husband and wife again, Akosuya Newman and her husband, Victor Newman, have been appointed to the presidency. Victor Newman is a paternal relative of President Ekufuado and his long-standing associate. He is today his senior presidential advisor. And Victor Newman's wife, Akusia Newman, uh, Newman, like I've already stated, is the executive assistant at the presidency, whatever that means, executive assistant at the presidency. Still on the record-breaking list of staffers is Shelly Lai, who has been appointed as an assistant office administrator at the office of the president. Her husband, Mr. Gadi Lai, is a known long-standing friend of President Ekufuado. Now, ladies and gentlemen of the press, in what comes across as a romantic twist to this tale of family and friends, an ex-lover of the president and baby mama of the president. We are saying it as it is. A woman who is known to have a daughter with the president, Ghana's ambassador to the Czech Republic. So this is Madame Virginia Hesse. She has a daughter with President Ekufuado, and she has also received her fair share, appointed as ambassador of Ghana to the Czech Republic. So daughters are getting their share getting their shares, nephews are getting their shares, husbands and wives are getting their shares, nuclear families are getting their shares, and ex-lovers and baby mamas are also getting their shares. Clearly, President Ekufuado has shown that he is not a man of his word and cannot be trusted. Several, now friends from the Inky fraternity, several high-ranking officials in this government have taken a cue from the president in this very unenviable practice. 
One of such is the president's cousin, Ghana's finance minister, Ken Uforiata, who has also assembled a cast of close friends, relatives, partners into many public financial institutions in order to have an unparalleled influence over the sector. For example, now we are on Ken Uforiata. A sister-in-law of Ken Uforiata, Ghana's finance minister, has been made the deputy managing director of SIC Financial Services. And the name of that sister-in-law is Enu Uforiata. You can see Enu Uforiata on, this, on, on the screen. That sister-in-law of Ken Uforiata, as appointed as deputy managing director of SIC Financial Services. While another family relative of Ken Uforiata, Alice Uforiata, has also been appointed as head of the Tema Development Corporation. And Alice Uforiata, ladies and gentlemen, is on the screen currently. Alice Uforiata, okay. To further strengthen his hold over Ghana's financial sector, Daniel Ogba Amitete, a known protege of the finance minister, has been appointed to the position of Director General of the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. It must be added that Ogba Amitete is a former vice president of Data Bank, co-owned by Ken Uforiata. So Ken Uforiata is the co-owner of Data Bank. His brother won an election, became the president of Ghana. He appointed him, direct cousin, as finance minister. And Ken Uvariata also chose to assemble of friends, relatives, business associates. And so, Alice Uvariata and Uvariata are his relatives in government. And his friends, who he used to work at data banquets, like Daniel Oba Amitete, has also been appointed as a head of SEC. Another business associate of Kendo Furiata and a former staff of Data Bank, Dela Awu Asime, a company secretary to Data Bank, has also been awarded as a member of the SEC board. So the chairman of SEC is a known protege of Kendo Furiata, a member of the board. Dela Awu Asime is also uh, the company secretary of Data Bank. There is no gain saying that these two acolytes of the finance minister have been strategically placed to make it very difficult, if not impossible, to hold the finance minister to account for any aberrations of the law regarding SEC. Therefore, it is not surprising to the financial sector in Ghana and to us in the NDC that data bank is almost always deemed worthy transaction advisors to the finance minister in most of our recent issuance of sovereign bonds. To all intents and purposes, the operations of data bank, which is co-owned by the finance minister, Ken Uforiata, now extends into the domain of the finance ministry, which he leads. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the despicable practice of nepotism by the Okufuado government has assumed perhaps a bigger center stage at the finance ministry. Our investigations have revealed that Honorable Ken Uforiata, who heads the ministry, has supplanted listen to me very carefully, supplanted a number of highly qualified and seasoned technocrats, and in their stead, placed middle-level cronies from data bank to occupy
finance ministry has arguably more than a, a mere working relationship in government. Days back to the purchase of shares in Enterprise Group, previously held by Salam, South African investment firm, you know, by Blackstar Holdings Limited, a company he, Honorable Edubuahe, founded. So these two men, Kenoforiata Edubuahe, who are shareholders in this company, have an opportunity now to continue drinking from the same pot at the finance ministry. Indeed, the finance minister, Ken Oforiata, who recently and infamously described innocent investors in men's gold as greedy, continues to exhibit arguably the obscenest avarice ever witnessed in the political annals of Ghana. Apart from the above examples, ladies and gentlemen, the finance minister has an additional sea of strategically placed allies in key state financial institutions with whom he shares close ties of friendship and business interest. Among them include Kelly Gajipu, a long-standing acolyte and co-founder of Databank and head of the Enterprise Group and Madame Comfort Okran. So Kelly Gadepo, you can see him on the screen, co-founder of Data Bank. He is now um, on the Bank of Ghana board. He's also the chairperson of ECG. They, have, they are the ones who created this whole PDS mess that we are grappling with. And then you have Madame Comfort Okran. Can we see a picture, please? Both of whom now sit comfortably on the Bank of Ghana board, which has engineered the collapse of over 420 financial institutions and rendered thousands of breadwinners jobless. Another associate of the finance minister, this is Kendo Furiata Alo, by name Lynn Alote Gajepo, sister-in-law of Kelly Gajepo has also been appointed to the Bank of Ghana board. What that means is that she is married current CEO of the Ghana Investment Promotion Center, who between 2009 and 2012 was an executive director in charge of business development and private equity division at Data Bank. Yet another former Data Bank employee is Michael Adote Ado, who is now a deputy director general at SNIT. So they are everywhere, they are SNIT. They are at Ghana Export Promotion Council, they are at Bank of Ghana, Ministry of Finance, everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, it is very instructive to note that in sharing the spoils of power to family, friends, and loved ones, the Vice President, the Vice President, Dr. Baumia, neither opposed nor recused himself. Dr. Baumia's father-in-law, father of the second lady, Samira Baumia, called Al-Haji Ahmed Ramadan, has been made Ghana's envoy to the United Arab Emirates. We also must add that Samira Baumia's brother, 
Al-Haj Ramadan. That is, Abu Ramadan has also been appointed as a deputy director at NADMU. But not just that. Another brother of Samira Bawumia. So, Rebecca Kufuado is not the only guilty, you know, first lady. The second lady is also part because her own father, and for that matter, father-in-law of Baumia is there, has been appointed as an ambassador to the United Arab Emirates. Then his brother, we all know him, Abu Jinapo, deputy director at NADBO. Then another brother of his, Mumudin Abdullah Baumia. If we can see his picture, he's quite unknown. Mumuni Abdullah Baumia. A brother of Vice President Baumia has been appointed as technical advisor to the Interior Minister, Honorable Ambusdari. So Baumia's brother has also gotten his fair share. Learning from President Ekufuado and Baumia, various ministers of state in this government have also diligently followed these shameful footsteps of their bosses by also dispensing generosity to their families and friends. Beyond President Ekufuado, Dr. Bawumia, Ken Oforiata, specifically, the man who actually leads the pack is the senior minister of Ghana, friend and defender of Asha Aisha Wine of China. Mr. Yao Osafomafu, a.k.a. Krul, Krul Associates. Even though Mr. Osafomafu discouraged MPP foot soldiers not too long ago, and the youth of Ghana from seeking jobs in the public sector because it is choked, his two sons, not one, but his two sons, are comfortably serving in the public sector. So our senior minister came out telling MPP foot soldiers telling the youth of this country that don't look to the public sector for jobs because the public sector is short. And behind our backs, little did we know that he was busy creating non-existent portfolios for his two sons. And so, ladies and gentlemen, these privileged sons are number one. Kwejo Jemfi Osafomafo, his picture is on the screen, who now serves as a Deputy Director General and Acting Head of Cyber Security at the NCA. Kwejo Jenfi Osafo Manfo. You can see him on the screen, son of Osafo Manfo. The second one is Kofi Busumpim Osafo Manfo, who is now the Deputy Director General of SNET. So the Senior Minister has two sons. Pointed. And these positions, these portfolios, were non-existent under the actual regime. So Osama Mahfou, senior minister, created these portfolios and placed his two sons there. Let's stay a little while longer at the National Communications Authority, ladies and gentlemen. The Honorable Minister of Communications, Asla Ousu Ekufo, has conveniently fixed two of her allies namely Olivia Cote and Prince Sifa as Deputy Director General, Directors General, in charge of managerial operations and operations respectively. So you have two um, allies of Honorable Asla Ousu Ekufo, the woman who says those criticizing President Ekufo are witches. And their names are Olivia Cote and Prince Sifa. And listen to their portfolios. One is in charge of managerial operations, and another is in charge of operations. <laughs> One is in charge of managerial operations, and another is in charge of operations. It still remains a mystery as to what these two nebulous roles entail within the scheme of things of the NCA. By the same token, the Director General of the NCA, Joe Anoche, the ICT wizard of the MPP, has not stopped short of drafting several of his apparatchiks into various positions at the authority. 
These include, but not limited to, Kwame Jan. And these are not apparatchiks of Asla Usu, the minister, to be fair to her. Josephine Adufuwa, Harry Mackinson, and a host of others. All these of Joe Anoche, Director General of NCA, have been given various positions at the National Communications Authority. Friends from the media, over and above these despicable nepotistic appointments at the party level, the wife of the national chairman of the new patriotic party, Freddie Blay, is now Ghana's ambassador to Germany. While the son of the Speaker of Parliament, Michael Quay Jr., is Ghana's representative to India, but ladies and gentlemen of the press, not just that, the daughter of Ghana's Speaker of Parliament, <coughs> Professor, and should I say Reverend Michael Quay, called Maria Edith Okwe, has recently been made the head of corporate affairs for the National Petroleum Authority. So the president, you've seen his relatives, friends, and so on. You've seen the vice president's relatives, the government. Then you go to the national chairman, the same thing. His wife, Jenna Blay, ambassador to Germany. And then the speaker of parliament. We would have thought that the reverend minister would have